I was traveling back to my base when suddenly I encountered him. This was Maypick, a player known for tracking down bases and then cutting down whoever it belonged to when they least expected it. And he's been searching for my base specifically since not too long ago I decided to leave his team. All because he's been using illegal duped items, which gives him the power to take down any player he wants and also makes him practically immortal. And since he was right here in front of me in the nether, he's probably here to find my base and kill me. So the second I got the chance, I began running from him to get to the end. Because if I went through the end portal, I could get back to my base without showing him where it was. However, as I started making my way there, he started following me. So I just kind of acted casual until I got to the end portal, and luckily he left me alone. But as soon as I got back to my base, I was still horrified. I was so scared that at any moment he was just gonna pop up at my base. <sighs> Crap. I was so screwed. I was going through like every emotion possible, just freaking out, thinking this is the end for me. And after doing that for like five minutes, Mavic invited me to a call. A snitch will tell on somebody and betray them for something in return. Yes. But a rat will go behind yes. his team to save his own cowardly ass. The difference yeah, is that a snitch that is human, but a rat is a fucking rat. Ah, no, 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 stop, 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 stop. Oh, Okay, wait, we can talk about this, please. Can we? Probably. Good chance. No. Yeah. Is that necessary? Go on, do this to me. That's right here. I'll break it. No, okay. oh, that's not nice, is it? Hey, man. Hey, dude. Bye, man. See ya. So, after escaping into the nether, I decided to dig into a wall and make myself a little box. And while in here, I began stressing out. The entire time, I was so scared that Mapic was gonna somehow find me. However, things got ten times worse when I decided to start asking questions. What are you doing? Taking a tour. Of my castle? Yeah. Reminds me of the season three one that had like a bunch of TNT under it. And after hearing that, I began freaking out even more. Maybik was hinting at blowing up my castle and that was the last thing that I wanted to happen. My castle, as well as the area around it, is very, very special to me. And that's because whenever I need to make some kind of important decision or I'm feeling super vulnerable and need help, I always tend to come here and afterwards I feel a lot better. On top of that, I found this place on my very first day of the server and upon finding it, I was overwhelmed. It was the most beautiful landscape I'd ever seen, and it slowly over time became my happy place. So if anything were to happen to this place, I don't know what I would do with myself. And for that reason alone, I decided to head back to the overworld. Despite my lack of food and the massive gear difference between Mapic and I, I was going to head back to my castle and fight till my very last heart to make sure it stayed safe. Because my castle getting destroyed was the last thing that was gonna happen today. However, as soon as I saw Mapic, instead of killing me, he decided to give me some food. Wow, you have seen brighter days, huh? I'm not gonna punish you for uh, not trusting us. I, if, I, yeah. if I would, I was gonna kill you already. But I do want it to be common knowledge that there's no escaping. So watch your back, man. What the? All right. Oh. That's it? What the f***? You just gave me better armor, what? What the f***? Oh my god! I can't escape! <laughs> Why? Oh my god. Holy sh Oh my god, it doesn't even- So if you're wondering why I'm freaking out over free gear, it's because these items were duped, which, as I mentioned earlier, was the main reason I ended up leaving Mapic. I helped him create these duped items, which have now put this server way out of balance. And in order to get away from it, I decided to leave our team, abandon the rest of the server, and live peacefully and quietly inside of this castle. But now that Mapic was here with duped items to give me, everything I've done so far has been for nothing. This castle's only purpose has been ruined. I don't even want this armor. I don't even want this armor. I don't even want this armor. Do I take it? I don't know. <laughs> It'd be stupid of me to take it, right? I don't want it. This is... Oh my god! On top of all the stress from the duped items, there was also the fact that Mapic could come back at any moment. You have a wonderful abode. Can't wait to visit shortly. Threats like that became more and more common, which added on to the endless stress and panic I was going through. If Mapic were to kill me 12 times, I would lose all of my hearts and be banned off of the server, which frankly wouldn't be that hard, especially since I wasn't planning on leaving this castle for anything. Mapic had backed me into a corner. I was completely trapped and there was nowhere I could go. On top of that, there was nobody to call upon as my only ally on the server has been him. And now that he was the one killing me, there was no one to run to. 
However, despite how awful my situation was, I wasn't just gonna lie down and let Nabik kill me. No matter how much I wanted to run away, I couldn't leave my castle behind. So I was left with no choice but to stay here and keep it safe. Despite how powerful Mapic was, despite his infinite items and my lack of items, I was going to do everything in my power to protect this place. And if I were to do that, I needed more than half max diamond armor. So I decided I was going to finally stop holding myself back. I don't care about pride anymore. I don't. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I will take his gear. I will take whatever I can. And with that, I began working my way towards a counterattack. At the end of the day, Maypick is just one man. If I could assemble some kind of team that could help me take him down, maybe, just maybe I could survive the rest of the day. So I decided to swallow my pride and set up a meeting with a team known as the Three Heart Trio. They weren't the strongest players on the server, but I knew damn well they were the only players that were willing to accept me. Since, as I mentioned earlier, I used to be on Maypick's team and have terrorized practically everyone on the server with him. And luckily, the 3 heart trio didn't really hold any grudges and were more than willing to accept me onto their team. However, they could only hop on 30 minutes from now. So all I had to do was hold on for a little bit longer and hopefully I'd have some allies to have my back. He's here. And just like that, I lost all of my bravery. My time was up. Maypick was here. I began panicking and scrambling for any gear I could get. I didn't have any gapples. I didn't have ender pearls. I didn't have anything to fight with. All I had was a smite sword and my netherite armor. And after panicking for way too long, eventually I decided it was time to finally go downstairs and face Maypick once and for all. However, once again, he wasn't here to kill me. Instead, he just gave me a sword and an axe and left the area. Somehow, I survived yet another interaction, but a little bit later he came back again, this time to build whatever this was, and once again reminding me that he'd be back for more visits. At this point, I was way more terrified of Mapic than I was before. There was no doubt in my mind that he was going to kill me now. Everything that's happened so far is clearly just a slow buildup that will eventually lead to him killing me. And yet, despite the fact that there was no hope for me, I still wasn't going to give up. I still wanted to try my hardest to take down Mapic. And if I wanted to do that, I needed to gather some resources. Yet, as I began doing that, something else happened. Oh. Oh, that's not good. Immediately after seeing this, I started panicking like crazy. I'm running out of time, 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 I'm running out of time. I need to hurry, I need to hurry, I need to hurry, I need to hurry. The reason I'm panicking so much is because this visit was very, very close to the last one. Meaning that Maypick was getting bored. And since he's already blown up a little bit of my castle, the next thing he'd most likely do is either kill me or blow up more of the castle. So whenever his next visit was, I'd need to fight him. So I began panic brewing as many potions as I could, but because of how scared I was, I got very, very clumsy. Oh no, this is the end. Okay. Yup, yup, that's it. Yup, okay. Okay, okay. Wow. Wow. Hey, man. Crap. Crap. No! Oh my god! Come on! He's on me! Crap, 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 crap! Crap! Oh god! I fell. That's not good. No! 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 Come on! I can do this, I can do this, I can do this, I can get out of this, I can get out of this. This is nothing, this is nothing, this is nothing, this is nothing. This is nothing. Crap. Come on, come on, come on, 
Come on. Come on. Come on. I can do this. I should build a portal. Or try to get to the portal. I don't know. One or the other. I can do this. I can do this. I can get away. I can get away. I can get away. Come on. Do I want to run though? No, I'm not running. I'm not leaving this place. I'm not going through that portal. I refuse. I refuse. I refuse. I'm standing my ground. Crap. Crap. Get strength. No. I just have to run out of strength. I just have to run out of strength. That's all this is. I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. Come on. Crap. It's better than me. Crap. That's not good. Boom. Uh-oh. Come on, man. The shield broke! No! It was finally all over. We were at the end of the line. If I were to respawn right now, Mapic would just have to kill me another 11 times, and he'd finally be rid of me once and for all. And honestly, if this was the end for me, I'd be perfectly okay with it. However, instead, Mapic decided to just sit there and let me grab the stuff again. He wasn't even interested in killing me again. As a matter of fact, he decided to go as far to say that I wasn't ready to fight him yet. He deemed me an unworthy opponent. And yet, this entire day, he's been prodding me, trying to get me to fight back against him. I didn't understand it. Why would Mapic push me into fighting him, only to go back on it as soon as he saw me making potions? What did it mean? Was there even a deeper meaning? Or was he just no longer interested in fighting me? Regardless of the answer, he gave me back my heart and then logged off for the day. And now, I was left with my castle. All alone in a place that used to be considered my sanctuary, but has now been turned into a battlefield. All because of one person, Mapic. He ruined everything that this place stood for, and I wasn't planning on forgiving him for it. From this day forward, I devoted myself to one goal and one goal only, which was to get my revenge on Mapic no matter what it takes. I didn't care how long it would take me, as long as at some point I'd have my chance to take down Mapic, I'd be happy. So to begin working towards my goal, I finally had my meeting with the Three Heart Trio. And oh my god were they useless. They just kind of kept changing the topic and not talking about how much they hated Mapic, and I was not vibing with that. Like, that was not cool. That was not okay. So as soon as I got the chance, I kicked them out of my castle and got back to work. From that point onward, I began working very, very hard to get myself as much gear as possible. I set up an entire village of breeding hall. I brewed shulkers upon shulkers of potions. I made iron farm after iron farm after iron farm. And finally, after a whole week, I had all the materials I needed to take down Maypick. All that was left was to find him and have another fight. So I headed to spawn in order to catch him, but instead I ran into another player. A player known as Subs. He was on a mission to restore all of the destruction that Mapic and I caused not too long ago. And he was doing a really good job. You could barely tell that Spawn used to be a massive crater. And slowly but surely, I began to feel awful. The destruction of Spawn was entirely Mapic and I's fault. And now Subs, a player who had nothing to do with any of this, is forced to clean up after us. Nothing about that was okay. The entire server now had to deal with a blown up Spawn, and it was entirely my fault. I was filled to the brim with regret, and for what whatever reason, I decided to share all of that with subs. And to my surprise, he was very understanding. He told me stuff about how he tries not to hold any grudges and just wants what's best for the server. And also that by restoring all of spawn, things can potentially go back to the way they were before the dupe war. And I couldn't help but feel inspired. His view on things was a lot more optimistic than mine, and I wanted to be a lot more like him. So to take my first step in that direction, I began helping him clean up spawn. And by the time 
time he logged off for the day, I felt a lot closer to him. I wasn't too confident, but I felt as if I could call him one of my allies. For the next few days, I ignored my feuds with Mavic. Instead, I focused solely on repairing the spawn that I destroyed. I'd simply log on, help subs repair spawn, and then log off. Mavic was in the back of my mind, or at least he was, until one day while I was cleaning spawn, him and his teammate Rochambeau began making taunts about destroying my castle. I chose to ignore it for a while, until Mavic started pointing out very specific details about my base. Details that he'd only know if he was there right now. So I began rushing back to my castle, only to find him just standing there, menacingly. Then his teammate Rochambeau showed up and started dropping him potions. So I began panic messaging subs my location. As I said earlier, him and I weren't really that close, but I consider him my ally and was really hoping he'd show up. And thankfully, he said he'd be on his way. So now, all I had to do was grab myself a bit of gear and prepare for a massive fight. I don't have a lot of gapples. Oh, and I'm getting crit. Okay. Yo, what? Why do I suck? What? Oh my god. I haven't PvP'd in like 10 years. Crap. Subs. Bro, what is he doing? Subs! After that, Mapic and Ro were able to escape us in a forest. And shortly afterwards, they both logged out for the day. And although it didn't feel like it, I had practically won. Despite everything Mapic put me through, I was still able to come out on top and force him to run away from me. Granted, I had subs to help me, but this wasn't the only time this would happen. As the very next day, I did the exact same thing. In just the span of a week, I managed to flip this entire situation around. Mapic had gone from hunting me down and harassing me on the daily, to now not even being able to come close to me due to the fact that he was so scared I'd kill him. And as I'm sure you all know, I relate very heavily to that feeling. So I decided to put it all behind me. I told Mapic that there was no point in me hunting him down anymore. I've already gotten my revenge and all I want to do now is just live peacefully in my castle. And surprisingly, he understood and agreed to leave me alone. So just like that, our score had been settled. Mapic and I had no reason to fight one another and I could finally go back to my castle without being bothered by anybody. If there's one thing that I can take away from this entire journey, it's that no matter how tough the situation is, even when the odds are 100% against me, as long as I try my hardest and never give up, as long as I'm able to give it my all, eventually, I will be able to come out on top. And now, the only goal I had left was to live out the rest of my days peacefully here in this castle.